Welcome to an edited down version of the live stream that occurred on June 23rd, 2021. We are making some parts for my shower, but it didn't go 100% perfect. And that's the way it goes for 3D printing and additive manufacturing. Stay tuned because I think you're going to enjoy this one. It's going to be a two-part series and in the outro, you'll find out why. How is everybody doing today? I got a really fun one today and it's been something that's been like on my mind that I wanted to design and I'm like, screw it. I can do live streams about this stuff. So let's just do it for the live stream. So we're gonna be making some stuff for my shower of all things. So I recently bought uh, and it was not because I wanted to. So let's, let's go into why Grant had to buy a shower and I should have brought the piece with me. But uh, Miss Amber, Miss Amber was using the shower and uh, she likes to play with the settings because I don't know. She likes it. And uh, she went to change the setting and she broke the threads on the shower head. So not on the pipe. The pipe is made of steel. The shower head was made of plastic. I said, all right, screw it. Gonna get a new one. And uh, I've always wanted to try one of the rain shower heads, right? The big square rain ones. And that's what I ended up with, one of these. And honestly, they're pretty damn great. But I really like this, but there is one downside. So I've got a bad back. The bad back means that I really do need that extra pressure when I'm showering uh, to really like basically massage me while I'm showering. And these things, while they do just dump water on you, like it's going out of style, they don't have good pressure. Now I could go through and model new nozzles, 3D print them in res, I don't know. I'm not going through all that BS uh, because this thing, it comes with a off head handle. Well, when I'm taking a shower, I want the off head handle kind of somewhere. I don't exactly know where yet, but um, this is basically how everything is set. So this comes off of uh, the adapter, and so it sits kind of like this. I want this to mount somewhere like that. So that's what we're gonna work on today, so that I can get variable pressure as well as lots of water. But we are going to build, effectively, a mount for this. It needs to- I guess I don't need this, because of where I want to mount it. I don't think I need this- this hose anymore, which is totally fine. Uh, what we need is we need to get the sizing of this, and we are going to find a way to mount it to this, somewhere just like that. But uh, all right, let's jump into it. Let's get rid of big Grant. Let's bring up small Grant and uh, let's bring up Fusion 360 and let's make it happen. So, oh, well, I'm probably gonna start from the top like I always do and if it's wrong direction, it's the wrong direction. So we gotta get some dimensions. So the first dimension I wanna work on is the actual holder for this. Now we do have to worry about the, uh, the adapter piece here, which lets you go through and select. We've got an issue where this thing necks down, but I think we can use that to our advantage. Realistically, it needs to fit at its widest point and at its shortest point. But if we can have something where we can slide it in, we should be okay. So I need to really make sure that we handle this diameter, right? So it can slide in. All right, so we're gonna design something that will fit over it and then it should kind of lock in up there. It's gonna be similar to a microphone mount. It's kind of the way that I'm thinking in my head. So let's go ahead and design this out, but we're gonna need some dimensions first. We are, oh, it is, okay. So it's 27.5 millimeters in diameter. So 27.5, it's 27.5 millimeters in diameter. So 27 and a half inch, uh, 27 and a half millimeter diameter. Let's get that set, 27.5. Beautiful. So that's what we're really looking at. And we can see that it looks like it might get a little bit bigger, but I don't think it does. Yeah, 26. Nope, it definitely gets smaller because the calipers stop there. So it gets smaller as we go down. So as long as our system fits this, we should be good. I'm gonna go ahead and do an O for offset. I'm gonna do, because Amber's a little rough on this stuff, we're gonna do a, uh, a three millimeter offset. That should give us plenty of plastic to work with here. And uh, we want to eventually maybe shape it. This is gonna go on and it's gonna fall all the way to here, which is kind of the idea. So if we go up to 27 and a half, 
I'm gonna go to 27 and a half of my calipers. Interesting, okay, so it should stop right about there, which is perfect. That's really what I wanted to do. So cool, that should be pretty simple. All right, um, we wanna leave probably a small slit in it, so L for a line. We're gonna do L and X to go ahead and get our construction lines. We're still on X, all right, L comes out there. One more time for good measure to go straight up. I am trying to pull this little dot corner, there we go, to there, because I want to set this dimension. I want to set this to like four, and then we're just gonna mirror it across. So we're gonna mirror this object across that line. And that should give us enough kind of wiggle. Oh no, we actually have to do it big enough. We actually have to make it big enough to fit this. That way uh, you can put it on. So I gotta measure this diameter because this diameter is the important one. Oof, 22. That's gonna be a tough one. All right, well, let's see where 11 friggin' millimeters from the edge gets us. This is why we love CAD though, because we found our new number. I really want that to be something like that. I'm gonna probably gotta make this, probably gonna make it 12, honestly. Boy, that's uh, that's a little tight there, but we're gonna make it work. All right, let's 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 see what we can do here. I'm gonna bring up Big Grant real quick so you guys can see this. So it stands like this, and I want this to fit here. Well, I guess I could make it big enough to fit in, but it's gonna have to be very straight. I'm gonna have this hang down like here because we need to, right? We have to have enough room to get stuff in and it has to be basically dead straight or be able to rotate. Um, we could viably put it on this rotation mechanism that we have here, but this also is like the waterproofing part of it. So I don't know. So yeah, we're, we'll make it far down so we can push it in, but this is one of those that I don't expect to be a one and done design. All right, so I'm gonna leave it at the 12. I just think it's safer to do it that way. All right, so that's our first one. Let's do an extrude. We want to extrude it up. I'm gonna take a look at this here. I can see that it starts to, oh, there goes the, the pipe is gone. Uh, it starts to neck down somewhere at like the 60 millimeter range, but I don't want to go that much. Um, I would probably think that 50s, 45, 40? Maybe 45. We've got, this is the piece that's gonna hold our uh, our components. So I do wanna fill it, these edges quite a bit. I don't know, one, yeah, one's fine. So this should actually enable us, it should be flexible enough that we can clip it in. Let's do that, let me get the main shower head. I want it to basically grab here, okay? So it will, it'll hit this, it's going to want to fall. It's going to want to tilt this way and that's fine. We'll have it rest up against this bar. So I think let's start by uh, kind of designing out this component because this is basically a 90 degree angle and I'm going to, I'm going to flex it. So it is a 90 degree angle because it will make my life a little bit easier, but I, I could just estimate it. So let's get this pipe diameter. Pipe diameter is 14.23. Oh, it's half an inch. Okay. Or it's actually, it's 9 sixteenths is the correct fraction. So we probably want these at roughly the same angle. Yeah, it's going to mostly hold here. But if we have them parallel, no, I want a much higher angle than that. Hmm. I'm going to probably, I'm going to, I'm going to make a part. I'm going to make a part that flexes, which is more than I bargained for when I got into this, but whatever. So, all right. Um, we're gonna cheat. We're gonna make a new component. We're gonna bring the components together and and do it that way. So, all right. So uh, we're gonna hide the body, but we're gonna rename this to. Um, it's the auxiliary head holder. So that's what I want it to to be. So we have a pipe here that is 14.24 millimeters. So we're gonna do a circle from the middle, and uh, let's do it 14.6. Uh, Give me a little bit of extra here. Um, we're gonna go ahead and do a uh an offset there this one probably won't hold a ton of weight so two millimeters is likely just fine and because we need it to hit we don't really need it to grab but if it grabs a little bit that's okay we're gonna do the same thing like we did last time we're gonna create you know very very small things here l and x do a vertical line uh so let's see ah uh, grant you shouldn't have constrained that so I constrain this model to be horizontal or vertical, and I don't want that. But this will at least assist me in making sure the angle's right. 
I don't want a ton of it, but if we can get it to clip in, it it's not going to hurt. I don't need this to be much longer than maybe 12 millimeters, so let's go ahead and do an extrude here. Uh, 12 millimeters is fine. That goes away. So we've got our other body down there. We do need to, like, rotate this body, so we're going to hit M for move. We want to rotate it, which is going to be a pretty simple thing to do. Should still be on axis, which it is. Yeah. Okay, cool. All right. Uh, let's extrude this. I don't know. 15. Okay. Well, it looks like it grabbed it there, so we have that. Now I need to get this. Um, so we got to look at modeling this component. So I think we just model the component, which is probably the safer way to do it. All right, so we know that there's a pipe here that is like 15, uh, 14 millimeters, whatever, I have it in here. Uh, and then it goes to a crossbar at 19 millimeters, 18.9, so 19 millimeters. Um, all right, so let's look at, uh, at drawing that out. All right, so I need to go ahead and project uh, that line probably just project the whole damn thing okay and you know what we're gonna go ahead and gotta finish the sketch but i'm trying to figure out the right way to clip everything onto there it's gonna be really complicated i'm gonna undo this and see if i can just pull this whole thing apart because it might be quite useful if i can all right so it's got some teeth on the inside it's got this main screw that goes across it's got a bunch of nice o-ring seals i'm gonna give them credit for those o-ring seals because those are actually really really pretty but on the bright side, I can remove this piece and I can replace it with a 3D printed part, which would give me a physical connection point. So this piece would normally go right there to cover the O-ring. Okay. Well, I don't need that piece. Something that I can 3D print apart and I can attach it right to that screw, which would be a uh, friggin' amazing. So right off of the edge of this would be the screw. So... If we look, um, this piece, it's centered, and it is, is 18 millimeters wide. So I need a center rectangle that is 18 millimeters wide. So let's do that first. We're gonna do a rectangle, a center rectangle. Uh, I know I ne it needs to be 18 wide. I forget what the diameter that I needed it to be is. Uh, I'm gonna call it 19 even. Okay, so now if we do a line all the way across, now when we do our revolve, we're fine. Okay, and I'm gonna do another rectangle because it's for the secondary part, uh, which goes up to the shower head. And the secondary part is actually a little bit bigger. So it is 25 millimeters. So we're gonna do 25 by by 19. Okay, so I got my two dis I got my two discrete parts. Um, I'm gonna also do another line that goes from here to there. Finish that sketch. Now the revolve is gonna get mad at me, right? And we we kind of expected this. So we want to grab this profile and this profile, missing axis, which is this axis. And we are going to do new bodies. Now, if I'm lucky, I should get two new bodies out of the deal. I don't. I only get one. All right. So I'm going to click off that one. Um, Got to grab that as well. Do the revolve of the one. Now I'm going to do another revolve, which is going to include that second piece here. Axis there all the way around. And I want to make a new body. All right. So I've now got my discrete components that I need. Um this piece i'm gonna move it all right that should be good now we have a screw over here at this end i'm gonna unscrew it and i'm gonna get some dimensions so we can draw stuff out all right so at the end of this and let's uh let's get another sketch rolling here i need to project that surface because that's the surface that i need um i've got an o-ring that comes out and that o-ring is it's a 15 millimeter o-ring so i'm gonna do a circle from that center point that we can pick up because of the offset, 15 millimeters here, and uh, its thickness, by the way, it's a pretty pretty substantial O-ring, right? So this O-ring has a thickness of, looks like 3.75. I'm gonna go to 3.75 very specifically, 
because I want to squish it when we tighten everything on. I think that's going to help it. Um, so this might be better if we went to like 15.25. Give me a little bit of space to squish that O-ring down. Um, and then the center, uh, the center threads, which we need to deal with are 8.09 millimeters. So we're going to do a circle. That is uh, 8.25, which should get me around them pretty easily. And uh, the entire part that we have to work with is this big. So we can look at uh, that right there, which is five and a quarter millimeters thick. So we're going to go ahead and click finish here. Um, boy, that is not a lot of space for a 3D printed part, but we're going to friggin do it. Uh, I'm actually going to tie in this support bracket to it as well. So it, it's going to screw in and then angle up to hit and that's going to be all that we should need to hold it in place if we screw it down tight enough in my head so let's get our o-ring um our o-ring is uh 3.75 so i'm actually going to go to 3.6 let it let it expand i want to squish it a little bit 17 millimeters there so yeah it does have some room to expand so i'm going to give it 3.6 up. Um, what did I attach that to? I didn't click join. I need a new body. All right. So this is our O-ring. Uh, and now we need to create a 3D printed part that can fit there, but is no more than five and a quarter millimeters thick. So let's have some fun. We're going to go back to the sketch. This should be substantially far away, but I'm going to grab this component again. Oof, that's not the move I want. All right, well, we're going to do another move. We're going to move the body, and I want to move it right from its edge. I'm going to move it up. I want to move it off a little bit that way because there's, you know, there's some welds and some some schmoo there that I don't want us to have to deal with. And I think, like, four or five millimeters ought to do it. I get it far enough away, and that'll make the part substantial enough to get things to fit. Boy, if this works the first time, I'm gonna be surprised. We need to make a plate. So I'm gonna move this sketch. Actually, I'm gonna move this, this move I'm gonna move back to there. So when I go into the sketch, I can uh, easily accept what I need to do here. All right, uh, I'm gonna play around just with some lines and arcs and stuff. So bear with me here. All right, so I wanna come from the top of this, to the top of that right and viably from the bottom of this to the bottom of that i want i want some parts all right so now i'm looking at how to attach things and i'm still kind of unsure um so i'm just kind of seeing like what i've got to work with right i've got all this to work with and i can just like make some real chungus of a part but if we look right about here so i'm gonna do a line right about there if we look at this line, this line is basically where the stuff stays together. So I'm going to do like 3.6. And this means anything that we extrude to that should be fine, right? It'll it'll grab it. So if we, uh, let's say we go from here down to there, which is, that now makes it concentric. Um, it's ugly as sin, but it would work, so something to keep in mind. All right, the other thing we need to do is we need to do an offset because I don't want this part to be all that thick. I wanna make sure that we can crush this O-ring effectively. This is 15 and a quarter wide. I guess a little bit of room to squish the O-ring, but I wanna go even further. So I'm gonna offset this uh, 0.25. It's giving me a little bit of extra room. So this is really the part that we can print, right? And it needs to kind of dome up to handle the thread. I I think this should give me enough information. So let's bring up that sketch one more time. It's gonna be ugly as sin for right now, but uh, I do kind of want to figure things out. So minimally, we need to come up to like there. I'm gonna do a join. Main section connection, I like that. So we're gonna hide the main section connection. So uh, anything that we make right now doesn't uh, bond to it. So I'm gonna do this, 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 and we're gonna come up to probably four millimeters. Yeah. You know what? I'm gonna make this a little bit small because we do, well, does this crush the O-ring or not? Let's find out. Yes, so it does crush the O-ring. So we don't want to go to four. We probably want to go to 3.5 and uh, we're gonna do a join command. We've got that. You know what? I'm gonna choose to go out to four millimeters because 
I'm going to put a fillet on this, which should make it do better. So, all right, cool. We're going to do a join command. Um, this is going to end up getting filleted pretty heavily. Uh, what I do want to do is I want to come back here and I want to extrude this away just a hair. And the reason for that is there's going to be a uh, some filleting and stuff on the actual pipe. And I don't want this to get in the way of that and cause things to not fit. So I'm thinking that's how it's going to end up being. And yes, I recognize that takes some meat off of it. And now only leaves us with three millimeters, but we're not holding a lot of weight. So I think we should be okay. And an eighth of an inch of plastic is going to be relatively strong. Um, we'll add some fillets in here to make sure that everything stays nice and strong. But I think that's going to be really the right move. Let's do the uh, the actual head part. So I want to remove that and I want to extrude. I need to grab that section. I'm going to hide the O-ring because it really doesn't matter. Uh, and we need to do an offset plane. So is that a profile plane? We're going to do an offset plane. We're going to offset it four millimeters. So it's kind of out of the way. Now we can only go to 5.25. Right, we went to four, so we're gonna go to uh, to 1.2, give us a little bit of extra room. We're gonna fill up this inner edge because that inner edge is uh, gonna help us squish the O-ring. We're gonna do a one millimeter fillet. That's really gonna squish that O-ring down. We got our main part here. We got an O-ring on the inside that's gonna O-ring seal it. There's a hole that goes through this. Don't worry about it. This is the part that already exists. So that's gonna help us set our angle, which is good. We're gonna utilize existing threads. Uh, which is awesome. I am so excited for this. Like, I am so friggin' amped to do this. So we need to pull off of this part and this part here. And actually, we should we should extend this all the way to give it more thickness. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna end up doing a part that has a hinge. So one part of the hinge will attach to this. The other part of the hinge will attach to that. We're gonna use it, probably a socket head with a nylon lock nut. So I'm gonna try to do it in M5 since I do know where my nylon lock nuts for M5 are and do a, um, a, a D10 thing. So it kind of locks into certain places. So now we need to look at doing all of our off axis. stuff. What is body six? Body six is the other stuff. So we got our aux head holder. We have our angled pint mount. Now we need to look at another part that starts to get everything together. So we want this to be on axis like it stands right now. So we, we want them to be kind of in line, right? And the idea of having everything in line assists us in making everything fit properly, all right? I don't want this shower head to be off kilter or anything like that. And it's going to be a little bit, I don't really care. I'm going to make it work. So... All right, uh, let's look at what we need to do. So, all right, so what we need to do is we need to come down and we need to come out some because that's how we're going to have our connection. So let's look at go ahead and doing that right now. So I'm going to pull off of this section right here. I'm going to come straight down from it. So let's just pull E straight down, something like that. 30 is probably pretty good because you, you do have to have a, uh, you, you got to have some, some in between for them to really like, you know, come together, if that makes sense. We're gonna join that. I do want this to be a little bit bigger, so we'll just extend this. Yeah, that's not gonna work. All right. Well, that's okay. We'll figure it out later. I can just probably take this and extrude it straight in, just like that. And as long as I click join, it's like I meant to do it. This is so ugly. I don't want that. So if we do something like that, that's gonna make it look a lot more elegant, and that's probably what we're gonna look for. And we could even come all the way down like that and really add a bunch more plastic, but it's likely not necessary. So we'll push it back just like that. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. That's pretty, right? I want to fill it this because I am eventually going to do that. And I think it is going to be valuable because I want these to be circular. So to do that, we're going to fill it until it just comes together in a nice, pretty circle, just like that. And so when we go ahead and do a sketch on here and we do a project, Theoretically, it should give us the center of that circle, which it totally does. Uh, I am going to grab a circle off of that. I'm going to make it um, 5.3, which I know fits M5 really, really well. Uh, we know that 5.3 will fit an M5 nice and cleanly. Now, I got to get the, uh, the head diameter. Head diameter on this is 8.5. So let's do another circle at, because uh, I want to inset this a little bit. Let's do a circle at, uh, I don't know, let's do it at nine. Give us lots of extra room. And see, that's really good. If you're going to put an M5 in there, this gives us enough room to do the hole, right? So we can come here, do this, go all the way through. 
right? And now we've got ourselves the hole that we need. We're going to do this and we're going to inset this. Uh, I don't know. At least, at least two millimeters. Yeah, that's probably fine. Let me see how deep this is. This part is 5.183 millimeters deep. Whatever. Um, that's okay. We're just kind of, we're doing stuff. Oh, hey, I didn't notice that. I got to readjust this fillet. Let me readjust this fillet because it did kind of mess things up. Okay. Yep, because we, we want to make sure that we leave room for all that stuff. So there we go. I am going to fill it this edge too, because I think we can get away with it. Now I could use the same sketch, but I'm not going to, to make the detents. I'm going to make a new sketch because I can. And I know this is like really bad sketch etiquette, but I don't really care. I don't really care. So I do need to project uh, the circle from the other side. Cause I need to have my detents on the outside of that. So we're going to do a uh, circle and uh, we're going to do a circle. Let's do uh two millimeters. Yeah. All right, we're gonna put that somewhere here. L, X, bring this straight down just like that. Uh, we are gonna do a coincident from here to here. That way I know it's there. And we're also going to dimension the center of this to this line. Uh, let's do six millimeters. Yeah. All right, so, oh, I need to bring that sketch back, hold on. All right, so I gotta do a line that comes from here down through to here. Uh, cause I got, I'm going to revolve this into a little D10. I think one should be enough, but, uh, let's, let's give ourselves two just in case I can always cut one off if I need to. Uh, so we're going to do this and this center pattern is here. I don't want a full, I want angles. So probably do an angle cause it's most likely that it's gonna, yeah, do it like that. We'll have them 35 degrees apart. All right. So now we can finish our sketch and create our revolve here and here axis there all right uh we want to join it so now we have our detent two millimeters is a pretty big detent uh that might be too big uh we'll, we'll find out the hard way gonna join uh i am thinking that one's gonna be enough so i'm gonna suppress this i'm still gonna leave it there but i'm gonna suppress it i think that's gonna make it good for us so that's gonna get us that one little detent point anyways let's do that second part so uh we can do that all from here because we know the size that we have and if we take this and we project it it shows us where that is the bottom so we need to make sure that our part doesn't come above that so we need to do a circle that starts here and comes out to there that's going to be the secondary part we're also going to bring some lines off of it come across come up uh we're going to have this be equal to that and uh we want this to be perpendicular to that. Beautiful. All right, now all we need to do is we need to measure out from here to the center point. Uh, I don't know, let's do 20. Good enough, sure. Beautiful. All right, so we now need to extrude this, this, and this. Needs to be extruded outward. Um, I'll need to also grab all of these. Need to bring this all outward. I'm gonna do a new body for this because that is what we need. We need to do a new body. I'm thinking, yeah, four or five millimeters should be plenty. Now what we need to do is, all right, so I'm gonna go to modify. I'm gonna go to combine. And uh, this is my target body. This is my tool body. And uh, I'm gonna cut it, but I'm gonna keep the tools. Wrong way around. I want my target body to be this, my tool body to be that. We're gonna cut it, but we're gonna keep the tools, okay? So now when we look at this part here, we get rid of it, we're left with that hole. So now we're gonna use our press pull tool and we're going to, whoops, I need to get rid of the sketch. We're gonna take this, do uh, 0.15, ooh, negative. Wanna be a little bit bigger. Um, even 0.1 is probably fine. Uh, so let's go ahead and we need to do a circular pattern pattern circular and we are going to do a feature which is this first i need to uh i need to create an axis um i had to create an axis perpendicular to a point which is this whoops i had to create an axis uh through two planes which would be fine here there we go so now we have our axis to do our circular pattern we can go to pattern circular pattern uh objects oh it's a face thing so i actually want to do features which that is the feature axis is here 
And I want to do lots of these, so we want these to be basically touching each other. I don't think this is going to work. I think I should, it'd be better for me to make a channel so it at least all stays aligned. I don't need it to click in. I need it to be strong. All right. Uh, I could do a side profile. I guess that's what we'll do. I want to do a circle from this point. I'm going to bring it out to that point, which is what I needed. All right, now we're going to do a revolve. We got this profile along this axis, which this is probably better overall. It, it should work better, I think. Um, but now that we're going to do that this way, uh, I want to go back and uh, specifically to this circular pattern. Uh, and I want to put the other one actually at 180 degrees. And uh, when we're done with that, I'm going to unsuppress this. And what we'll do is we can do this with a uh, inspection section analysis here. If I did this right, and I think I did, we should see two balls. Yeah. Cool. All right. That's what I want to see. I'm going to give it some leeway because... I don't think the printing process is going to be perfect. And I could put ball bearings and all this. I'm not doing any of that crap. This is like one of those you set and forget. And that's all that you really need to do. All right. So we've got that. This is, it's going to end up connecting to the aux head holder. So I'm not too concerned. All right. So we're going to, we got to move this part. So let's go ahead and move it. Um, we're going to move the entire body. And uh, we are going to grab it a little off axis, but I think that's going to be okay. Um... Yeah, I think we're actually coming up to a conclusion on this one. All right, well, I need to do modify, combine this and this, and I'm going to join. I'm not going to keep the tools, so we're going to join them together. So I got a new aux head holder. I do need to create a uh, another sketch here. Uh, I could have done this before, but I didn't, so, you know, you pay the price. Okay, I need to do a circle here to this edge. Cool, I need to do an extrude out here done cut through it bob's your auntie uh angled pipe connector so there you go i'm gonna i'm gonna add some crazy fracking fillets onto here now what i should probably do is make that come in at a 90 degree but i don't have the patience to deal with that so we're not gonna do it yeah big 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 fillets um same thing down here i want some big fillets down here I like big fillets and I cannot lie, basically. Uh, I want some big fillets because it's going to add a lot of strength. This unit doesn't have otherwise. Uh, let me fill it here and here, uh, 0.5 maybe. Yeah, another one there. Just kind of rounds out the edges, makes it a little bit less uh, harsh. Uh, because we are dealing with an O-ring, I want to put this to like uh, point, eh, I can probably do 0.5 on that. Nope. Do a 0.2 millimeter fillet there, just so it's not as a harsh edge. I don't want to rip the O-ring. That would be a disaster. Uh, yeah. Turn on the analysis. We can see we've got our ball detents in there to keep everything safe. Oh, you know what? Um, hmm. From here to here is how far? 8.183. I can use an M. Ooh. Okay, an M5 by 8. All right. Uh, I'm actually going to, it's something that I haven't done, I don't think I've done it many times, uh, but I'm going to actually install the lock nut so it fits into the part. Um, now the cool thing is we should be okay. Okay, it's an 8 millimeter inscribed polygon. Do I have a sketch that is that exterior surface? No? Cool. I'm going to go before all of these fillets because it's just going to make my life a little bit more complicated. going to grab a sketch on that. We're going to project this surface. Cool beans. We're going to create a polygon and we want it to be uh, from flat to flat, which I think is circumscribed. Oh, right. It has to be, it's half of it. So it's 4.05. That's what I want. And uh, all I got to do is make a parallel between here and here, which is what I want. Uh, cool beans. All right, and now we can take this. We can ex we can extrude this back in maybe. One millimeter should be fine. Um, we're checking out the thickness of this, and it is three. So I'm going to go in two. Um, no, I'm going to go in just one. And that's going to allow it to sit in, but I can still grab it with a pair of pliers if I need to. We're going to put it like that just so the plastic can give it a little bit of extra strength. 
Um, but it might end up rounding it out and that's okay. The bolts are long enough where we can just add a washer onto it. Uh, so yeah, totally, totally cool. Uh, I am going to fill it the edges here because I think that is important to do. Uh, you know what? I need to move this body. I need to move it. I just need to move it like literally half a millimeter away so I can grab both the edges to fill it them. Otherwise, I can't grab all of these edges. And the goal for this is just to let the, the screw go in easier. I'm just going to do a 0.2 millimeter fillet. It doesn't have to be much. Uh, now, I'm thinking, and I know, Grant, thinking it's it, it, it's dangerous. Um, I'm thinking that I don't want... This was, like, pretty far away. I'm thinking I want to bring this in 0.05. And what we'll do is we're going to fill it here and here. 0.2. Uh, which should allow everything to ride in there just a little bit easier. I think we did it. This gets me the holder that I'm looking for. It puts it away and down. Um, oh, I got to go ahead and uh, add all that in. Those are all my fillets. I think we got it. This is the only thing that I'm not like 100% certain of. This is like amazing. And honestly, I'm really happy with myself about it. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Uh, stay safe out there. Don't forget to call your loved ones. And as always... Keep making awesome. What else can we fill it? So we thought that maybe it ended on a good note, but unfortunately the parts didn't fit. I'll throw a few photos up for you guys right now. Don't fret. Thursday is going to be the completion to this series where you will be able to see me go through the extra steps in making something, well, good enough for government work but I can assure you it took a couple of steps but we did get it right so make sure you tune in for Thursday's video and to do that get subscribed lightly tap that notification bell and leave this video a like uh, comment below how do you think that I resolve the problem and other than it being mirrored what other problems did I have I will see you guys in the Thursday video. But hey, don't forget, we're going to have a Patreon coming real soon right over there. Like, end of the week, maybe? I don't I don't know yet. Uh, we're really trying on this one. We've had some rush projects. But uh, anyways, right below me is the playlist to all of our live streams. Make sure you check that out as well. I will see you guys down in the comments. Take care. Have a good one.